Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how you can scrape leads from the LinkedIn Sales Navigator. This is the main window of the LinkedIn Sales Navigator Extractor. You can see software is divided into two parts. LinkedIn website is opened in the right side panel. And columns are showing on the left side that will hold the data after extraction from LinkedIn. You must have a login here. You can save your login from here. When you are logged in, the right side browser will looks like this. First of all, we will show you how to extract leads with a simple LinkedIn account. Just go to the right side LinkedIn website. Search your keyword here. This software is only for people's profiles, so select people from here. Select profiles relationship that you want to scrape. You can change your targeted location from here. When your profiles are showing here, you just have to click on the search button to start the extraction. You can see software is moving automatically to the other pages. Remember one thing if you have a Sales Navigator account then you should start extraction with Sales Navigator. Otherwise, you may be blocked by LinkedIn due to the daily limit. And also in Sales Navigator, you can visit a maximum of 1000 profiles in a day. When you want to stop the extraction click on this button. You can change your account type from here. The software can scrape from a simple LinkedIn account, and also if you want to scrape from LinkedIn Sales Navigator you can choose from this drop-down. This is the main window of the LinkedIn Sales Navigator tool. Now you have to search for what you want to scrape. Sales Navigator is providing two types of leads, personal and company's profiles. So this software is only for people's profiles, so you must have to select leads from here. LinkedIn Sales Navigator is providing multiple filters. Click on the View All Filters button. You can apply filters from here as you need. Sales Navigator will narrow down your results when you apply the filters. Select or write your desired location from here. You can select seniority level from here as you want. Click on the search button. You can see here your desired profiles are shown. You can change your search keywords from here. As I like just want to scrape the managers from their own connections. Select relationship from here. See, managers profiles are shown here only from my own connections. Now just click on the search button for start extraction. The software will move all other pages automatically. 
you can see extraction has been started. You can increase the width of the column from this plus button. Software is opening the profiles in another browser. Click on this button. You can see profiles are opening here. You can increase the column window size maximum up to here. Because if the LinkedIn profiles are hidden then we can fetch data from LinkedIn. When your search is completed or you want to stop the extraction click on the stop button. Click on the settings button. You can see a pop-up window is opened. From this tab, you can set the LinkedIn Sales Navigator settings. We have defined everything here, read these options and apply them as per your requirements. You must have to keep enabled this option and set the values of scroll step and delay here, otherwise, software can't fetch the data from LinkedIn profiles. When we request again and again to the LinkedIn server, then there are possibilities to block from LinkedIn, so we must have to set Delhi here. Click on this tab. Here you can set the grid column settings. The column names showing here all will be used in extraction. If you want to exclude any column from extraction, you have to just select the column. And click on this button, the list shows here these columns never shown in the grid. In this way you can select only your desired specific columns in extraction. Click here to load all default columns. If you want to add a proxy in the LinkedIn Sales Navigator Extractor, you can add from here, select Proxy Server, and put the proxy address, port number and other details. When you have done all the settings, click on the Save button. For saving your extracted records click on the Save button. Select the file type from here. Put the file name and click the Save button. To register the software, click on this button. When you purchase the license just put the order number in this box and click the register button. To purchase the license click on this button. You can apply a filter on your extracted data, click on the filter button. If you want to remove the rows on a column basis where irrelevant data exist, just put the text here and select columns from here. You can see software has removed the rows where the text was existed. You can also delete the rows if your desired column is empty you can remove the complete row records. Suppose if I must want a phone number in the records. So I'm selecting the phone number column. You can see the software has deleted the rows if the phone column was empty.